large boat. I know a real important man in town, a soft touch with, uh, shall we say, exotic tastes and the money to indulge them. He's involved in a legal matter, and the prosecution has some rather embarrassing photos of him at a morgue party or something. The evidence is being driven across town. You are going to have to ram that car and collect each little bit of evidence as it falls out. When you've got it all, leave it in the car and torch it! We're both going to do pretty well out of this, kid. Suit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV for a noble stallion. Do you eat microwave dinners? All the while wishing you were roasting a suckling pig at a pagan banquet. Is your next ideal home improvement a boat? Well, get ready, Liberty City. This weekend and every weekend at Liberty City Park, it's the medieval Millennium Fair. Our band of traveling minstrels, knights, and maidens also fair are ready to delight you with tales of the Black Death, witch burnings, and the joys of being a feudal sir. Forget about air conditioning and modern medicine. We've got all the leeches, spells, and potions you need at the medieval Millennium Fair. Learn the art of cooking with turnips. Yum yum. Buy genuine reproduction medieval artifacts, including maces, double handed battle swords, and one size fits all chain mail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or a swimming pool. And learn how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The Medieval Millennium Fair, every weekend at Liberty City Park. All the songs you were tired of 20 years ago. The Flashback FM. Flashback FM. This is Flashback. Push it to the limit, people. Push it to the limit.
First of all, let me thank you for dealing with that personal matter. People will read something into anything these days. Experience has taught me that a man like you can be very loyal for the right price, but groups of men get greedy. A valued resource, an old oriental gentleman I know, has been kept hostage by some South Americans in Espatria. They're trying to extort additional funds from me, but I don't believe in renegotiation. A deal is a deal, so they'll not see a penny from me. Go and rescue my friend. Do whatever it takes. Get a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bounce. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll die, Pogo. Good, eh?
Nothing drives down real estate prices like a good old-fashioned gang war, apart from an outbreak of plague, but that might be going too far in this case. I've noticed the Yakuza and the Colombians are far from friends. Let's capitalize on this business opportunity. I want you to kill the Yakuza Wakagashira, Kenji Kassen. Kenji is attending a meeting at the top of the multi-story car park in Newport. Get a cartel gang car and eliminate him. The Yakuza must blame the cartel for this declaration of war. crazy things, I can tell you that. But I've never been on fire. At least not to my knowledge. Your dial's in the 90s. Put your head stuck in the 80s. Flashback. Flashback. 95.6. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Eris, we make high-quality footwear. In fact, you can find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Eris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. <laughs> I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joel is throwing his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday, I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees. First running shoes. Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, what a, that's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lazo. Is that your real name? Uh huh. Of course, it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? <laughs> uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question, or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. Love the show, Laszlo. Or Mark. Or John. Or Beverly. Whatever your name is. All right, next cop. In these days of moral hypocrisy, certain valuable commodities can be hard to import. On its approach to the airport tonight, a light aircraft will pass over the bay. It will drop several packages into the water. Make sure you pick them up before anyone else does. I let my kid play video games, and now he runs around the house looking for gold coins. This is teaching our children to go chase money. My little Sam's been playing this new video game called Pogo the Monkey. Yeah, I've heard of that one. His shop teacher called me today, and Sam made a homemade banana cannon in shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're in our key demographic. Love Media, bringing people and the finest in entertainment together. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bank stuff. People say it's bad for you. It's not bad for you at all. Why aren't you talking? Oh, you think I'm strange? Am I on the air? Hello? 
Anthony, you pansy. What's your question? Bank, 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 bank. <laughs> What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why, and, and they end with your voice going up like this. Don't mock me. I know where you work. You're just like all the rest. How's that? All right, it's evil, dude. And toothpaste, they use it to control us. Why do you think all the commercials tell you to brush you twice a day? I've read books. And what book have you been reading that tells you that toothpaste is evil? Tenters, The Devil, and The Great Cavity Cover-Up by J. Phil Higginbottom. so excited, I didn't even notice I'd been hit. After that, I was hooked on Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game doesn't end until there's only one man left standing. Tune in nightly or watch the 24-hour live webcast. Liberty City Survivor. Natural selection has come home. Sponsored by Emmy Nation. All right, we're back on Chatterbox. Call us on the chatter line to tell us what's on your mind. Line four, you're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Liberty City Cox rule! Ah, that's lovely, thanks. Next caller, you're on Chatterbox. That last guy was so full of crap. Everyone knows women are made from sand. Okay, great, another lunatic. Hello, next caller, you are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitude. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude, too, if you couldn't reach the friggin' cheesy squirrels at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean... You know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own sh... Thank you for retrieving those packages, but they were only a decoy. Sorry about that, but that's sometimes the way in business. My real objective was hidden on the plane all along. Unfortunately, the Port Authority seized the plane and were stripping it down until I intervened at great personal expense. Cross the bridge to Shoreside Vale and go to Francis International Airport. I've paid off the officials. My property will be waiting for you at the customs hangar in the aircraft fuselage. Good news. Good news.
news for commuters from Shoreside, engineers have finally managed to repair the damaged mechanism on the Staunton Lift Bridge, and it is now open to traffic flow both to and from Shoreside Vale. In the Lone Star State. Oh, taxes. Well, you know, look, taxes are really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now the state wants to pay taxes on the money you win from that stuff? Buy your own lottery ticket. You know, hey. Good point. I think that's a lesson to us all. All right. Hello, you are on Chatterbox. Hello, lads. Now, I'm a first-time caller. I recently moved to Liberty City from Hampshire in England. Oh, really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, Lazlo. Yes, yes, I, I do like it here. There's one thing, though, that's, that's very different, rather worrying. When I was a boy in England, I had a nanny. She was very strict, Lazlo. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. I don't know. Well, well, I'm sure. But the, but the thing is, Lazlo, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I, 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 I would get spanked. Na nanny, nanny would spank me when I was naughty. And now, now Freddy needs Nanny, because when Freddy's naughty, he needs to get spanked. Well, there's some child psychologists who probably say that spanking can be harmful to a child's emotional development. Ab, 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 it's lovely. Freddy needs a Nanny. He needs a Nanny, Laszlo, because Freddy's been a very naughty boy. H how old is your son? Excuse me? How old is your son? I don't have children. I can't stand the little brat. But I'm Freddy needs a System. Not a conflict of interest if we own all the radio stations in town. We'll be right back after this message. In today's fast-paced world, a split second can be the difference between achieving your dreams... Hey, I just won the Nobel Peace Prize! ...and not. Oh, I wonder if Rasslin's on the More Americans are realizing if you don't have the latest and greatest technological devices, you will fall behind. I didn't upgrade my personal organizer, and two days later I was diagnosed with a terminal illness. <laughs> That's exactly why you should come visit the friendly people at House of Tomorrow, and they'll set you up with all your 21st century technology needs. I only spent $20,000, and now I can get email in the shower or surf the internet while I'm driving. I was bored stupid at my daughter's recitals and my son's Little League games. Now, thanks to House of Tomorrow, I can play wireless head-to-head -head 3D virtual reality poker literally anywhere. If it's a flash in the pan technology of absolutely no use to anyone, you can find it at House of Tomorrow. Remember, only technology makes life worth living. House of Tomorrow. We'll upgrade your system, then you can upgrade your life. And now it is my great pleasure to welcome Fernando Martinez, who it uh, says here is the founder of Fernando's New Beginnings, a revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. Fernando, welcome. The pleasure is mine, Laszlo. It is an honor to be here. I feel blessed. Ah, uh, thanks. So tell me about Fernando's New Beginnings. Truly, Laszlo, it is a miracle, a blessing. It is a revolution in the marriage guidance. For my people, marriage is, how do you say, sacred. The bond between the father and the mother, it is made in heaven, and...
Hey, let's get this out of here. God knows what it is, but he seems to want it badly enough, so it must be worth something. Who the hell you? Hey, take it easy, amigo. No es nada, no es nada. I left you pouring your heart out into the gutter. Hey, don't shoot, amigo. No, no, no problem. We are friends. Don't Here, be such take a pussy. Hey, we got no choice, baby. Yeah. No, he's got a choice, you dumb bastard. I'm sorry about the crazy bitch, man. They, they all the same, please. Por favor. So, the whore got away. But you've done me a favor. You're not the only one that has a score to settle with the cartel. This worm killed my brother. I never killed no Yakuza. Liar! We all saw the cartel assassin. We are going to hunt down and kill all you Colombian dogs. I'll be operating on our friend here to extract information uh, and a uh, little pleasure. You, drop by later. I'm sure I'll require your services. Please, amigo! Uh, don't leave me here with her, man. She's, she's psycho, chico, man. Please, amigo! Hey! Hey, amigo! Amigo! Ah! After I eat, you're not so happy. It's a big difference, my friend. Anyway, the marriage is impossible as well. If a man was born an angel, maybe impossible. But a man is born a man. And a man with knees. He needs a woman to tuck his babies into the bed. But for his bed, he needs something else. Something magical. A dream. Swen you. So he starts flirting with his secretary, takes her out for a drink, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, he's found all kinds of uses for the office furniture. Exactly, Laszlo. I know what you are like. I see it in your eyes. A wanderer, a dreamer, a man who has knees, but an idiot, and I can save you. And I can save your marriage. <laughs> My marriage doesn't need saving. <laughs> Growing a brush, and who knows what else? He's not thinking of marriage bad. He's thinking about, well, you're thinking about your pretty assistant. We already know that, see? Uh, go on. But Laszlo, what if you act on your fantasy for your little secretary with the short skirt and the pretty eyes and uh, come here, they're smiling. What then, my friend? What then? Um, I get a sexual harassment suit. If you are lucky, my friend, but you, more likely, your marriage is ruined, Laszlo. Your sweetheart, she hates you. Your pretty secretary, she wants you to be her man. You back it to square one. My friend, you and a thousand men like you. For me, once it was so. But then one day, I was driving my car. Miguel seems to think I'm mistreating him. Still, He's revealed the extent to which Catalina fears your quest for revenge. She has three death squads dotted around Liberty, whose sole job is to hunt you down. Act as the bait and get the death squads to follow you to Pike Creek, where some of my men will be waiting for them. Ah! And flop. Speakers just pop, engineers tweak him and bop. Used to post up, nowadays I creep on the block. Younger cats who don't know me, they come these up a cop. Heads I knew for years, albums get released and they flop. What can I say? You should have put me in that feature and slide. Eat what I've got? Nah, either you peacefully watch or something to get your bones get weak and they rot. Mother. Would you like a giraffe? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a giraffe overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. What's up for you, my lord, sis? Definitely drink a couple of wines. Uh, okay. 
We're gonna open it up to the phones. If you've got any questions for Fernando Martinez, exotic marriage guidance made easy, ring us now. Hey, oh, cool, we have a caller on line one. Caller, you are on Chatterbox. Hi, Laszlo. Hey, Fernando. My name's Jerry, and I'm a first-time caller. And I just wanted to say, hey, Laszlo, you're real tough on Fernando back there. I'll tell you one thing, he's a miracle worker. He saved my marriage, and I married a bus of a woman. Now I don't feel sick every time I open my eyes. See, Laszlo? You see? I remember Jerry so well. He come in, he is like a broken man. Like a half a man. A man, if you will. He has no end anymore. And his marriage, it is killing him. Where is the passion? She is gone. Replaced by ugliness. You see, Laszlo, Mrs. Jerry, she's not a pretty... She's more like an offensive lion or a tight end. Big and hairy, but fertile. She gives Jerry five kids, but she's even bigger. Now, she's like a whole offensive lion. He feels no pride in himself. He has no pride in his marriage. He is ashamed of this wonderful lady who bears him so many young. And he comes to me and he cries, Fernando, save my marriage. I love my wife, even though she is a fat worker. And I say, Jerry, you are a man. It is a man's duty to love his wife, even if she is like a farmhouse. And now, Jerry is saved. By sleeping with other women. Whatever it takes to save a beautiful union, a blessing. A beautiful union by a, an adulterer and Queen Kong. And that's great. So uh, who's on the line now? Hi, Laszlo. This is Janet. I love the show and always wanted to come. You watch yourself, mister. And you, Janice, why are you so ugly? Your husband, he don't make you happy? No, he's an idiot and a jerk. But he's probably a good daddy, and you sound very pretty. Angry and a little bit of a know-it-all, but very pretty lady. This is the thing, Laszlo. The women they think in new beginnings is only for men. But no, it is for women, too. For Janice, if her husband goes to new beginning, she thinks, Senor Wonderful, all over again. And a new stream case, maybe she come to work for me. And she get a new beginning herself. She discovered the excitement of the passion all for herself. Listen, Janice, you called me cinco, cinco, cinco. Nueve dos, nueve dos. <laughs> now listen, don't try to pimp out my listeners. That is a very early word. A travesty. I work miracle, senor. Not pimping. I say, I give the passion back. And you better wash yourself, buddy. Because for my people, we take these insults very personally. And then, you no longer Mr. Talk Show. You Mr. Who Cut Up My Tongue. Who are your people anyway? I, uh, which exotic location do you come from? I am... Um, I am Latin. <laughs> Latin is a big place there, buddy. W uh, we're in Latin. I do not need to listen to these insults. I have pride. I have a calling. Many are called, but few are chosen, my friend. And I was called and chosen to work a miracle. So, uh, where were you called from, Fernando? From upstate, okay? Too happy money now? I'm not real Latin, but I provide real Latin passion. I work the miracles every day. Listen, wives, children, if your husband, if your daddy, if he's not happy, send him to me, Fernando. In exchange for a few hours a week, I give you the world. Get off, get lost. You're just a cheap pimp from upstate. Get out of my studio. I save your daddy. I save your husband. It is a miracle. Get out of here. It's a miracle. Would you like a kitten? Have one delivered. Just log on to PetsOvernight.com and we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. Yeah.